Do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. So elusive it must die. Bro, Julian tripping, my boys! Oh! oh, my PC. I mean, the fans are still turning. What's going on, my lovers? My name is Marlon Landry, and welcome to 98XX. I don't know how this game flew under my radar, but it's like three weeks old now, and it's gonna be one of those games where it looks like an old Windows system, but there's like a dark underlying secret that's like hiding underneath the game itself, so I hope this doesn't ruin and kill my PC. I guess only time will tell, but I do know one thing. It's so good to see each and every one of you. Go ahead, give me a high five enough talk we're jumping straight into 98xx i don't know what that means what if i power off what does that do is that uh Okay. Boy, I gotta tell you, it, do, it do really does have like an old system loading time. I will say that. Damn. Okay. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's log in. As it takes forever, as old Windows systems do. Who is this man standing at this tree right here? Why does it look like he's hiding a secret? By the way, the time is like absolutely exact. All right, so we get a whole bunch of things here, y'all. What do we want to do? What do we want to start with? There's a whole lot. Restart computer vid player jumping Julian surfer. What is all this shit? What if we press questionnaire answers? You know, we'll start from the top left. Let's just do that. Jumping Julian. Why does he look like Baldy? Yo, this is like an old system. This is like an old Windows system. This is awesome. Yo, that is definitely a Baldy ripoff. Look at that. Who is that? Baldy's cousin? <laughs> Jumping Julian! Hello there. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. How are you? I love when people play with me. Yo, why you, you gotta say it like that? Use space bar to help me make my way up to the top. Have fun. Alright, bet. Yo, there he is. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. Okay, we can just jump up here. It's like Donkey Kong. Except without, like, Donkey Kong throwing shit at me. There we go. Okay. Run, Julian. Run! Jumping yeah, Julian! Now on to the next level. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. Make it through. Okay, we gotta get up right where my fat head is. So, bear with me, y'all. I gotta be able to jump up here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Jumping Julian! Look at my boy jumping. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. All right. This looks challenging. Oh, whoa. I can do this. We can do this. Okay, we can definitely do this. And jump. By the way, I paid like $3 for this game, y'all. It was not free. So I hope it's good. <laughs> ah, my God. Okay. Y'all have found my biggest weakness, platforming. I am not good at platforming. I am very not good at platforming, as y'all can tell. Yo. Go. And jump. Jump higher. Jump even higher, higher. Uh oh! System here, what? Is my PC okay? I know it's supposed to like do that, but like, is it really okay? I think the game crashed. The game crashed. Damn it! I was at a high score too. Come on. We're really just ignoring. Okay, whatever. We're, I guess we're not. My PC can't handle jumping Julian. Yo. Where is the shadow guy at? Where did he go? My boy is gone. Yo, what if we jump in a pixel paint? It won't let us. Puzzle pattern? Uh, Julian? It seems that a problem has occurred. But do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. What do you mean? What do you mean you fixed the game? Julian, what is going on here? Where did I get this PC? Wish.com? I have something to ask. Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? See, this is where you it's just... something I've really been thinking about. Well, Isn't... anyway, let's play the game. Let's not. Oh, he's doing... He's controlling it for us? This is where you just burn your PC and, like, hit it with a sledgehammer. And say, too damn bad. I should have just bought the real damn thing. Yo, he is not looking happy, my boy. Finally, a brand new challenge. This should be fun. What, what the fuck is that? Ow. <laughs> I think that just resets us. Okay, let, let us not get hit by those flying bouncy shits out. All right, yo. <laughs> this game is something else, dude. It's like it's doing it to me on purpose, bro. Okay, hold on. There's gonna be one that flies down. Okay, maybe. Okay, jump. Julian, you gotta jump fucking farther than that, my boy. Yo, this is actually difficult, y'all. 
Now on to the next level. That's actually kind of here. Come the real challenge. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Real challenge indeed. This is all RNG based off of these ball bounces, y'all. On how difficult this is actually gonna be. Ah, uh, my cheeks. Y'all hear that sound? That's the sound of his cheeks just being obliterated. Yo, maybe this bastard deserves it after all. Yo, this isn't even fair, bro. This is not even fair. Hold on, watch it. Oh, oh. Yo, this one is ruining me. Okay, I think maybe I gotta come up here. I get, I. Boy, this is, my boy was not joking. This is tough. This is really tough. Okay, okay. Oh my God, dude. Am I ever gonna beat this? If I have to do the next level, it's gonna be literally impossible, y'all. Go, Julian. Jump for your fucking life, my boy. Yeah, Let's I go, it. finally. Now on to the next Ooh, level. that took forever, my boy. And yet so far. Oh, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this. I'm terrible platformers as is. Okay, we just gotta time it. We gotta time it, my boys. Jump. Fuck. Jump when it's up top. Jump. Oh! How are you supposed to beat that? Okay, y'all, we have made it this far. I cannot fumble this! No! Oh, jump, Julian. Fucking jump. Okay, this should be easy. We just jump every time they go down. Julian, you son of a bitch! Oh, Julian! Okay, just wait for it to go down. I'm panicking. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Yes! Finally! No! Okay, did the same thing. Maybe possibly... Uh, please work. That's a second time. Well, I wonder what changed. Is the tree gonna be gone now? I wonder. That is my actual... Okay, this is starting to get weird. This is really starting to get weird. I don't think I see anything that, like, changed, though. Oh, that definitely changed. Error, error. What was that? What do I do? Error, error. I don't want to play Jumping Julian. The dude's a son of a bitch. Oh my god! Does anything work on this damn PC? Oh my god! Whoa! See, this is where I, I just get up. I'm gonna throw this PC out, y'all. Oh. What the fuck? Do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. So, Elucity must die. Oh you my god! Die. You must die. You must die. Bro, Julian tripping, my boys! No! Oh, my PC! Bro. I mean, the fans are still turning. Oh my god! Woo! Oh! How did I fall for the oldest trick in the book? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Whoa, no way that just fucking happened. Okay, log in. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. I think everything is restored, maybe. Vid player? What if we click on that? You have no videos installed. What about Surfer? Oh, what? Surf the web in style. I don't know if I want to do it. What if I type in Jumping Julian? No, it doesn't let us. Okay. It, it won't let us. How? to destroy your PC, your cursed PC. No, nothing really, okay, we got we got some reading to do. What did I click on? Merez.com, 98XX. My Speaking. Red Incorporated has taken the world by storm with the launch of our newest computer, the 98XX. The 98XX is a computer? This cutting edge device has been praised by tech experts and consumers alike for its ability to seamlessly run games. Okay. Surf the web and handle all other computing needs. So, how did MyRes Incorporated come to be the best computer company in the world? It all started with their partnership with RazyEye Incorporated, a leading software development company. RazyEye Incorporated provided MyRes Incorporated with the resources and expertise to create a computer that could handle the most demanding applications and provide an unparalleled user experience. The Jumping result Julian. was the 98XX, a computer that has revolutionized the industry with its lightning fast performance and stunning graphics. Stunning Gamers can graphics. now play the most demanding games with ease, while creative professionals can run complex design software without any hiccups. 
The 98XX is also incredibly versatile, with the ability to handle all kinds of tasks with ease. From browsing right. the web to video editing, this computer can handle video it editing. all. Damn. All of these factors have contributed to my Resin.S success, making them the best computer company in the world. With the launch of the 98XX, they have set a new standard for computing excellence and innovation, and their commitment to customer satisfaction ensures that they will continue to lead the industry for years to come. Interesting. So, like, the 98XX is like a... He said, what? It's like their own computer system that's, like, competing with Windows, I would assume, and, like, they're offering, like, stunning graphics, the ability to edit. It's just, like, supposed to be a really high-end computer back in the day okay what is this there there were two other ones speak it in yes. 1991 bob carter founded razy i incorporated with a vision to revolutionize the computer chip industry today his company is one of the most successful in the tech industry with yeah, there's a lot of reading being used in a wide range of applications from consumer electronics to aerospace so what makes razy i inks chips so special one T all comes down to their innovative design and superior performance. Razi Incorporated has developed chips that are faster, smaller, and more power efficient than anything else on the market. This has made them a go-to choice for companies looking to stay ahead of the curve in a rapidly evolving tech landscape. Yeah, they One of like... Razi Inc.'s biggest achievements they has been like its, its ability to change chip sizes without bro. sacrificing performance. This has allowed companies to create smaller, more portable devices without compromising on computing power. Razi has also been at the forefront of developing chips that consume less power. All right, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I'm actually not even going to listen to the rest of this because it just sounds like they're sucking themselves off on how good their computer is. Like, I get it. Okay, there is no limit to the imagination. Bob Carter. World Articles. Which one is this? New game takes the world by storm. Jumping Julian? The talk in about my boy? Months, a new game has taken the internet by storm, captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamer Studios and developed by John Monkford, is a platformer game that has gained immense popularity in a short period of time. One of the game's biggest draws is its addictive gamma play. <laughs> addictive. Jumping Julian is easy to pick up but difficult to master. I agree. Making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. Why is However, that an eight? as with any popular game, oh, parents whoa, whoa. are skeptical about the impact it may have on their children. Many worry that their kids are becoming addicted to the game and spending too much time playing it. Hmm. Overall, Jumping Julian is a fun and exciting game that has taken the internet by storm. While parents may be skeptical of its impact on their children, it's important to recognize the potential benefits of gaming and to set appropriate boundaries. With its addictive gamma play and positive messaging, Jumping Julian is sure to remain a fan favorite for years to come. I doubt that shit. Yeah, I'd never understand what he's saying at the end there, but look, there's like a code, 7, 8, where was the 9? There was a 9 somewhere too, appropriate 9, like what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, there is most definitely a big secret hiding in this game somewhere, and I bet it has to do with these notes here, and those numbers that I was talking about earlier, so I need to look through here real quick, and see if I can click any of these numbers, 1. Oh, did y'all hear that? It made a sound, 2, 3, okay, hold on. We do four. There's most definitely a four hiding somewhere. There's four, four, five, or six, six, seven, eight, nine. What did that just do? Whoa, 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 what? It can read it. The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razzie Inc. Oh, In early October of 1998, Jason Storm, an employee of Razzy I Incorporated, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Stop Storm, reading. a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company's warehouse, where he was scheduled to work on a new project. When he failed to return, his colleagues raised the alarm and a search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. So he's missing. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day, oh. and has left his family, friends, and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumors and speculation have swirled around the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or technical malfunction. 
Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have even speculated that Razi Incorporated may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. I agree. However, the company has strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with the authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open, with authorities continuing to search for any clues that may help shed light on what happened to Jason Storm. Meanwhile, his loved ones continue to hold out hope that he may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has had a profound impact on those who knew him, and has served as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even the most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It has also raised important questions about workplace safety and the responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. By the way, there's still numbers here. While the here. case may remain unsolved, the memory of Jason Storm lives on, and his disappearance continues to serve as a cautionary tale about the importance of workplace safety and the need for companies to prioritize the well-being of their employees. Oh, I like it. There's something definitely dark going on here. Okay, so we see the numbers again. There's one. Won't let me click on it. There's no number one. There it is. Got one. Two was right here. And three was down here with employees. Whoa. Oh, there it is. The rise and fall of Jumping Julie in a cautionary tale game development. In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. Is that one Jason day breathing? The talk of the town. The next year, yesterday's news. By the way, there's the, the numbers again. Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. <laughs> However, the as gameplay. players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. Yep. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gamma play, <laughs> which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. I agree. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. The poor design choices were not lost on players, and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. Damn! One person in particular, Jason Storm, oh. left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. So he went missing! The negative feedback proved to be too much for Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business and Damn. pursue other opportunities. Monkford landed a job at Razi Incorporated, a company known for its innovative computer chips. Uh... While he may have left the game development world behind, his experience with Jumping Julian taught him valuable lessons about the importance of listening to feedback and constantly striving to improve. The downfall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale for game developers everywhere. It's a reminder that success can be fleeting, and that even the most promising games can quickly fall out of favor if they fail to live uh, up to blah, player blah, expectations. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, interesting. I don't like how he's staring into my soul, but are you telling me Jason Storm went missing because he left a bad review on the game? <laughs> That's hilarious. I like how it's connected, though. I really do. Okay, so I saw some numbers in here again. There's one on Phil. There should be a two somewhere. Where is the number two? Two was on obstacles. Three. Where was three at? I don't think I ever saw three. There it is on development. Okay, what is this going to take us to now? Oh. In a shocking turn of events, several employees at Razi Incorporated have committed oh. while playing Damn. the game Jumping Julian. The game, created by former employee John Monkford, I has the been linked three to the deaths of multiple staff members, leaving the company reeling and the gaming community in shock. Damn. The first reported <laughs> occurred in late October of 1998, when a Razi Incorporated employee was found dead in his office, surrounded by screens showing Jumping Julian. Oh. At the time, the incident was considered an isolated case, and was attributed to personal issues rather than the game itself. However, over the next few weeks, several more employees took their own lives while playing oh my the God. game. Concerned staff members raised the alarm, and the company sent out a memo advising employees to avoid playing the game altogether. As the death toll continued That's to too rise, Razi Incorporated management began to investigate the matter more closely. They discovered that John Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the the behavior in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. 
However, when they finally located him, they discovered that he too had taken his own life. Damn! The s*** <laughs> at Razi Incorporated have sent shockwaves through the gaming industry, raising important questions about the responsibilities of game developers and the potential risks associated with immersive gamma play. It has also highlighted the need for companies to take a closer look at the content of the games they produce, and ensure that they are not promoting harmful behavior or causing undue harm to players. The tragedy has also underscored the importance of mental health in the workplace, and the need for companies to provide support and resources for employees who may be struggling with personal issues. Damn. In the wake of the s**t, <laughs> Razi Incorporated has issued a public apology and has committed to taking a more proactive role in the wow. safety ensuring the and well-being of its employees. That is crazy. The company has pledged to work with mental health experts to develop better policies and procedures for identifying and addressing mental health issues in the workplace. The s**t <laughs> at Razi Incorporated serve as a sobering reminder of the potential risks and consequences associated with game development. It is a tragedy that has left a lasting impact on the company and the gaming community as a whole, and has raised important questions about the ethics and responsibilities of game developers. Wow. So my boys just literally developed a cursed-ass game that makes them unalive themselves. Well, I, I, I made sure I paid attention to the numbers this time. So we got one, two, three. Where does this lead us to? Oh my god, there's more reading? There's so much reading! Okay, so they basically shut down. That's all I'm gonna read from that, y'all. Y'all can read it if you want, but they shut down. Okay. Re downloading video. What? Success! What do you mean? Video? Oh! What is that QR code? Is that Morse? Hold on, what is this QR code? I got the QR code. I, oh. Y'all, I, I looked it up and it says, I am here is what it says. Oh. I, I just clicked it and it brought this up. What is all this? The frick is all this? Okay. Can I do anything with this? Whoa, dude. Okay, I don't know what these numbers mean, y'all, but there is like a bunch of coordinates with numbers. We're gonna leave this off here, y'all. I enjoyed this a lot. I thought this was really good. I love the dark, like, secret that's underlying this whole thing. I don't know anything about Morse. I don't know anything about this code, so I can't really explain that to y'all. I'm so sorry about that, but if anyone knows any idea or anything like that, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section, please, because I would love to know what that says. I I I'm willing to bet that it's probably just like coordinates to probably the dead body of uh john whatever his name was the one that went missing but thank you everybody so much for watching i love this i thought this was great man i i hope it gets an update and adds some more things to it because i would love to explore and see maybe it's even a second game on this but overall i liked it let me know what you guys thought down below in the comment section leave a like if you enjoyed it and thank you everybody so much for watching and i will see you my lovers in the next video